guys, welcome back to my channel. So, a while ago, I filmed a video on things that annoy me about Tinder. And I actually think I said in that video that I was off Tinder. Well, guess what? I lied. I'm still on it. It's like crack. I literally can't get off of it. It's like an addiction. While I was on Tinder the other day, I was looking at the people that I was matching up with, God forbid, and I was kind of like, I can see a pattern of these other things that annoy me on Tinder, and also the types of people on Tinder. Now, personally, I'm just talking from a female perspective of like guys on Tinder. I'm not actually talking about girls because I don't look at girls on Tinder. <laughs> Shocking, I know. So I thought it would be funny to write down a few things um, about the types of people that I come across on Tinder on a regular basis. That way, if you're not on Tinder, which is great for you, you can kind of live vicariously through me and see what I have to put up with because you have nothing better to do than know what Tinder's about. So just before I start, I'll just give you a little bit of a rundown of exactly sort of like how Tinder sort of, you know, looks. So you sign up with Facebook, Facebook or anyone on your Facebook doesn't know that you're on Tinder, thank God. How embarrassing would that be? Everyone would be like, remember Jess from high school? She's still single. Basically you sign up and then you can like sort of put all of your Facebook photos or whatever photos you want on your Tinder profile which people can obviously swipe through and most people just look at photos because they're all vain. And then you have like your name and your age and then a little bio that you can choose to write something in if you want. You know, hi my name's Jess, I am great, which is my bio. That's probably why I haven't met anyone yet. So basically that's like the simple layer of Tinder. Now the first types of people that I always find on Tinder are ones that write in their bio, here for a good time, not a long time. Hang on a minute. Let me just unzip my pants, I'm ready. It is not a turn on when I see people writing here for a good time, not a long time on Tinder. Like A, it is not original at all, like everybody writes that. And B, there's more discreet ways. Like there really, really is more discreet ways of basically saying that you're not on there for a relationship. Now fair enough if you're not on there for a relationship and you're just looking for a quick route, but let's just say rather than writing in your bio here for a good time, not a long time, and just being like hashtag basic bitch, It'd be probably be easier if you go on a date with someone, you have dinner or whatever, maybe, and then you go up and just start taking your clothes off and then say to people, oh, I ain't looking for anything, I just want to fuck. Half of the people that write here for a good time, not a long time, they ain't getting a good time or a long time, if you know what I mean. The next types of people that I always find on Tinder are the ones that I always plug their Instagram and their Snapchat and all of their social media. Now, this is not a marketing place, okay? Go somewhere else. I can't stand it. There's this new thing on Tinder. It wasn't always there when I was on Tinder before, but it's basically where you can see people's like Instagram photos if they decide to attach their Instagram to their Tinder, which I should totally do because you know how many subscribers I get on YouTube? Like at least another 10. But people do that all the time. But another thing that people do is write down in their bios their Instagram and their Snapchat name. But like have a conversation first before giving off your social media. Like I can't stand when people do that. Like, so you're not gonna talk to somebody, but you're gonna follow them on Instagram, they're gonna follow you back, and then you're gonna like each other's photos, and that's basically like the basis of your relationship, which ends there. The next types of people on Tinder, and I've already mentioned this in my Tinder video that I did before, where I talked about the people that come on and they have like one photo and it's of their back and you don't know what they look like and they could be like a 50 year old Japanese man but you think it's like a hot model. Happened to me plenty of times. I always notice sometimes that people come on and they have like a picture of nature and that's it. Half the time I think these people are trolling or like fake profiles but legit sometimes I think some people upload photos of like the beach. What's the point? Tinder is a vain, shallow site to swipe with people and only people that you find attractive. Why are you posting a picture of the beach? The one thing you had to do, you had one job and it's to post a picture of yourself and you can't even do that. Next types of people on Tinder are the ones that are purely on there for shallow reasons and that is to only swipe with people that they find attractive and they don't even want to know anything else about you. This really annoys me because I used to have in my bio like my job and what I did and there would be so many people that would match up with me and halfway through a conversation they'd be like, so what do you do? I'd be like, literally it's one sentence. Like before you swiped right with me, all you had to do was like look your eyes down and read that one sentence I had in my bio and you couldn't even bother doing that. You just saw me and swiped. Flooded. Trust me, but honestly, I would prefer someone to actually want to know what I wrote in my bio simply than just swiping. I don't know, it's just a natural instinct for me when I'm on Tinder. Like, I'll see someone that I like and then my eyes will immediately go down to their bio, but some people literally have absolutely no clue. Like, I could literally write in my bio, Hi everyone, my name's Jess, I used to be Simon, and I would still get people swiping me. 
because they don't even bother to look down. Just looking down for that like one second could have saved a lot of broken hearts. The types of people on Tinder are the ones with kids. Now, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with being on Tinder and having kids or having photos of your kids in your Tinder fo photos. I personally don't really want someone with kids. That's just my personal thing. You know, I just don't really want that. People that I really dislike are the ones that run their Tinder bios. Like, oh, my daughter comes first. She's my number one priority. Just straight to the point. Don't even hesitate. Just be honest. Half the time these people don't even look like they get laid anyway, so I don't know why they're trying to like bar people off with like a wooden pole because they should be trying to get everything that they can. Honestly, I don't know who matches up with these people. If the first thing that you that someone says to you when you meet them is, look, listen, sorry, but my child comes first, I'd be like, okay, I'm gonna go to my child-free world. Goodbye. I just don't understand it. Like I really don't understand why people just say things like that. Like once again, there are better ways to be discreet rather than just coming straight out with it and basically being all defensive. Hmm. The last types of people on Tinder are the ones that I don't even know why they're on there, like at all. Like there are times when I will match up with someone who's literally two kilometers away from me and they may be here on holidays or they may just be like, you know, here for whatever reason. But I match up with some people that are really close to me and we won't even talk ever. Sometimes I'm just like, why did you even match up with me? Was it just to like show people on your Tinder like, oh, look at all of these matches I got. So popular and so hot. I don't talk to any of them though. Anyways, so that is basically it for this video. I just thought it'd be funny to kind of share with you guys some of the people that I come across on Tinder. No offense if you're one of those people, maybe get your priorities straight next time. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you have any Tinder stories or any types of people that you always come across on Tinder. I know that will be hilarious and I'm sure some of you are on Tinder, if not, wow, awkward. Leave them in the comments and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.